Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on Sprocket. Today, we are actually going to be trying to build a brand new tank. Now, this thing is going to be designed around a motorbike. Now, what that means is the tracks are going to be in the center, and we're going to build a tank around it. Hopefully, we can build something pretty cool. It might even just be called the Motorbike Tonk. So we can put a big old gun on the top, have a tiny little body, and see what happens from there. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okay, so just before we get on with building the motorbike tonk, uh, I wanted to show you guys this thing right here. This is my World War One tank that I built in the previous video, and I don't think an awful lot of people actually seen it. It is actually really, really sick. So each one of these fires in a round, as you guys can see right here. Three, two, one, ready! And it, it just keeps going round and round and round, and it fires so much. This thing was insane. But <laughs> I just died. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get building on our new thing. I think the new one is going to be awesome too. Okie dokie. So straight away, we're going to do the exact same thing we do with everything else. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this. There we go. The fenders are gone. Then what we're going to do is go to compartments, select everything, lift it up out of the way. And then we're going to work on the mobility. So essentially with the tracks, the separation is going to have to come inwards, uh, just like so. Uh, I can't actually make it less than that, which is a kind of annoying. Uh, well, yeah, kind of annoying. Um, but we're going to go ahead and do this. So, 0.3 on each of these. They're going to be right in the center. And this is, I guess, how it's going to work. Hopefully, this is going to be fine. Uh, the length of it is also going to be about 3 meters long. Because I don't want it to be as long as it was previously. Uh, the other things is... We're going to go ahead and lower this down so we get less of these guys. There we go. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and put it like this and like that. There we go. And these guys are going to go slightly further backwards. There we go. Very nice. Hopefully, um, this works. <laughs> it's not quite a motorbike because it's not quite in the center. But there's no way of me actually moving this in any further. So this is, this is it. This is what we've got. Anyway, let's go ahead and get rid of one of the road wheels. There we go. Let's get rid of one of the idlers. And we're going to go ahead and make the return rollers a little bit smaller too in terms of their width. Just so that they fit inside of there. There we go. Interesting. Alright, so the next thing that I want to do is go to faces. I want to go ahead and squidge this just like so. Then I want to select everything. No, not extend. Hang on. Select everything. Bring it down and into the middle of there. Uh, if possible. <laughs> I don't know whereabouts it needs to be actually. But we're going to go with that. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and try and fit this in. So grab this one. Send it backwards. Uh, make it actually fit in there. Clearly, we want it to look nice, so it's not going to quite look like a motorbike. Um, the only thing that resembles a motorbike is this bit being very skinny in the middle, but hopefully this is going to be fine. Okay, so now that we've done this, we're going to go ahead and extend this upwards, send it off sideways, and bring it over the edges like so. We're then going to go ahead and send these guys backwards like this. <laughs> yes, okay. Very interesting so far. We're going to go ahead and bring these guys forwards like so, and hopefully we can make this look amazing. I feel like we can, so... Drag this forwards like this. There we go. Uh, the bottom edge of this is going to go backwards a tiny bit too. In fact, actually, no. We're going to add a round bit to the front. I feel like that's cooler. So we're going to go ahead and drag this guy upwards. And drag this one and this one downwards. Here we go. And then we're going to attach more on. Actually, no. We could probably get away with just doing this. Uh, there we go. We're going to have it like that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so far, so weird. But it's fine. We can continue. Okay, so now that we've done that then, uh, let's go ahead and try and figure out the rest of this. Uh, because we need more space, I'm actually going to go ahead and attempt to fill up this area in the middle uh, by just bringing this out sideways like so. And yeah, that gives us a little bit of extra room. We're also going to go here and we're going to have a one-man tank. Yes, uh, because motorbikes are usually one person. I suppose you can sometimes fit two people on. Uh, but I'm not sure which one I want to do, to be honest. Not yet anyway. Um, so, so far, so good. <laughs> it's, it's weird. It is weird. Um, right, okay. I could actually extend the rear as well, I suppose. So, let's go and extend this out backwards just a little bit. Just like so. Extend it once again. There we go. And then bring these guys downwards. Here we go, just like this. And this guy upwards, just like so. And then I think this guy and this guy out backwards a little bit more. There we go. Alright, fantastic. Yeah. Alright, that's very strange. <laughs> it is very strange, but hopefully it works. Oh, actually, the other thing is as well, the uh, the fuel tank can go down to like 25 liters, that's okay. Uh, the transmission, obviously we don't really need 8 gears, and we don't need them to be this big. So we're going to bring this down to like 2, there we go, and set all of that like that. We don't need reverse gears, oh well we do, but not that many. 
and we're gonna set that like that. Okay, awesome. Hopefully that will actually work. The other thing is, we're actually not even gonna be on the ramps when we spawn. Look at this. So we, we do get a little bit stuck there, and I'm not sure that <laughs> I'm not sure that's gonna be okay. I, I really don't know actually. We'll see. Anyway, uh, we need a driver's site somewhere, so we're gonna go straight to crew. We're gonna go to viewports, and the driver's site is gonna go right here. It's gonna be tiny. And we're going to fit it in right there. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we also need a gun, obviously, mounted on the top of this. And it is going to be like the Tonk. So it's going to be quite a big gun. Which means the actual turret itself also needs to be massive too. But we'll need to work that out ourselves. Oh, actually, if we're going to have a turret, we might as well have have two people. So that's going to be the loader. The, yeah, okay. That's going to be the driver and maybe even the radio operator. No, we'll just do the driver. And then... Uh, yeah, okay, so this gunner is going to be the gunner loader. Alright, now it's time, I think, to actually legit just add the turret on the top. So let's go to this. We'll go ahead and get our turret. <laughs> what happens if we just use this round one, actually? I don't mind the idea of just using this. There we go. Okay, move it backwards. Oh, it says it's not connected. No way. No, that's annoying. Okay, hang on. Put it on further back. There we go. Okay, awesome. It is still connected, and that is fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wish it could be bigger, but no, we're gonna leave it pretty much as is. Uh, we need the gunner to actually go up in there. We're gonna use the T-34's gun. Okay, there we go. Awesome source, yes. Um, and then actually, the driver... The driver is just gonna be the driver. The gunner, the loader, and the commander are all gonna be one. There we go. That works. Okay, so that actually gets people out of there. Compartments, basket space, less. Yes, okay. And then we've still got too much room in there. I think our engine's too big. Let's go to engine. Go to light. It actually can be pretty tiny. We're going to go with a four-cylinder. Four one liter each, so four-liter engine. Actually, no. 0 0.5 liters. Okay. And then we can raise this up to, like, 5,250. There we go. And then we're going to go with 2,750 right there. Okay, which gives us how much horsepower? 2, 750, 17.4. Okay, we can't actually move out of here. We're a little bit stuck within this area. That's annoying. Okay, so now that we've done this, anyway, uh, we, we're good. We're good, that's fine. Uh, apparently the crew is taking up uh, a lot of the room. So let's go to crew. Uh, apparently it's these, or oh, this guy. So let's go ahead and lower that down. There we go. The crew is still taking up the most amount of space. Okay, so how do we get around that then? How do we actually get around that? I'm not sure. Maybe we add side skirts? I guess that's that's a good option. So we go to the edge. We extend it over. There we go. We bring it down. And then we extend this guy downwards from there like so. Yes. Just like this actually. Probably. Pretty much. Uh, we're then going to extend this guy outwards. Just so it fits perfectly in there. There we go. And then I think we can actually extend this guy and this guy out a little bit more. Oh, uh, is it doing it on both sides? Yes, it is. Uh, to give us a little bit more room there. Okay, good. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a bit of an angle bit right here too. So extend this. Backwards. Okay. And then squish it. Yeah. All right, squidge it. Squidge, just like so. Okay, that's fine. And then go to the front. We're going to squidge it at the front too. So extend. Bring it forwards. <laughs> Actually, squidge it first. That's fine. There we go. Squidge it. Squidge it quite a lot. There we go. Good. And then extend it forwards just like so. And that will be fine. Okay. So, that's all we've got so far. We need more room. <laughs> we need more room. Okay. Uh, basket space is already minimized. It's like literally nothing. Uh, the diameter of this is going to go in. I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I, I don't know. Um, the turret takes up 32%. There's not much I could do about that. We need a little bit more room. We need just a little bit more room. So, go to faces. We could probably get away with extending this across the back. Like that. There we go. Bring this guy out to actually hit this. There we go. And then I'm going to try and merge this downwards to there. In fact, I'm going to do it with both of them. So, bring those downwards to here. There we go. We're going to bring this guy downwards too. Okay, fantastic. I should be merging these guys together, which I will do. Here we go. So that one and that one, merge. That one and that one, merge. There we go, that's sorted that. This one and this one, merge. Okay, yeah, no, that's actually fine. Okay, so that one and that one, merge. This one and this one, 
Merge. Okay, this one and this one. Merge. There we go. Okay, good. That one and that one merged as well. Okay, and then what? That one and that one merge. Okay, and then what? <laughs> this is this is becoming a bit of an issue, a bit of a struggle. Okay, we're gonna leave that there. That's about right. Okay. Okay, it's strange, but hopefully it's fine. We now need to come up with 20 internal space, and that is it. Unfortunately, we can't take it off this. That's really annoying. However, it does now move. Look, it moves. Woohoo! Yes! Little Tonk Boy! This is crazy! Okay, let's make it a little bit wider. Or even, I don't know, push it out backwards a little bit and we'll be good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, because we can't actually see it anyway, is we're gonna extend these guys inwards on the inside. There we go. So now when I spawn it in, we can't see those bits, but that's fine. There we go. And now we've got a tank that works. It's like a motorbike Tonk. I, I love it. <laughs> I actually really like it. Look at it! Yes! That's sick. Okay, so now we need to actually add ammunition to this thing. I want it to look nice too, so we're going to add some decorations to this, and then we're going to go from there. Hopefully, this will work out. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the ammunition in. We're only going to have like a few rounds. I think that is actually A-OK, -okay, so let's bring this in. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn it around too, so let's do this. There we go. Almost all the way. There we go. And now push it in. There we go. There we go. It's only going to take five seconds to reload, but I don't think it's going to take quite, quite as short a time as that, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going to take 10 seconds to reload. It's a bit annoying, but we have all the rounds we need. That's fine. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and design this, make the outside of it look cool, and then we're going to go from there. Okay, so I'm not actually going to add that much detail to this thing. I'm going to get rid of that, and we're just going to go ahead and have this on the side. That's okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side too, uh, just like that. There we go. So there's not that much detail on this thing, but honestly, that is fine because this is such a dumb... It's like a really dumb tank anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and give it a livery, so we're going to make it look like this. Our saturation is going to go all the way up. Our brightness is going to go up a little bit too. And we're going to go ahead and change the hue so it looks a little bit different as well. Uh, this tank, decals, um, I don't know what it would be. I don't know what it... We're going to make it Romanian. No, we're not. Are we? <laughs> Maybe we should. I don't know, a Romanian weird tonk. There we go, why not? So... Let's go ahead and shove this, like, pretty much directly on the side. There we go. We're also going to put a Romanian flag directly on the front. And we are good to go. All right, does it move? All right, it gets a little bit stuck now. But if I can, if we keep up the momentum, we can get off the front. Hey, there we go. And off we go. Okay, sick. <laughs> this is ridiculous, but I love it. Yes. Okay. So what kind of speeds can this thing get up to? I don't know. Can it cross trenches? This is quite a thick trench. I don't think so. Ugh! Oh, we jumped the trench. Amazing. Okay. Uh, so, this thing currently doesn't have any armor at all. And it is not going to have any armor. So, we're going to put this straight into a battle and see how well it does, I guess. Okie dokie. Off we go. There are 12 of us. <laughs> there are 12 of us. We are on the fields map. Obviously, we're going to come up against some pretty beefy tanks here. But I think we have a... Uh, we have an opportunity. Uh, whether this is going to work or not, I'm not so sure. But um, it's going to be fun and exciting, I think. All right, there are seven enemies. Uh, my my gun better shoot through them. Uh, it, it, it must shoot through them. If it doesn't, we're going to have so many issues. Also, my tanks aren't coming with me. They're just separated out all the way, all the way over there. Uh, right, I'm going to have to peek this. Okay, and then fall back straight away, more or less. So let's peek over the top of the hill. Oh, apparently, one of my... Tonks has killed something. Oh, I tracked it, but I didn't kill it. We need to reverse out of here. <laughs> back up, back up. Oh, my tanks are firing in. They're doing it. They're destroying the enemies. Okay, there's a tank coming up this hill. Oh, it's been destroyed. We've lost two Tonks so far. There are three enemies remaining. Two enemies remaining. Uh, well, okay, one enemy remaining. Where is it? Is it that one just in front of me? I can't tell. Oh, it's that one. Oh, he killed me. No. Why is this guy all the way back here at the beginning? Ridiculous. All right, get in there. We need to kill this tank. It's killing all of them. Switch tanks. Quick. No. One tank is killing everybody. Get in there. Get in there. We must destroy this one tank. <laughs> oh, there's four versus one. It was going well until now. 
Now it's going horribly wrong. It's destroying everybody. It aims quicker than me. It aims quicker than me. It's dead. It's dead. Now we've got six beefy tanks versus three little tonks. This is not going to go well. All right, guys, we are going in. We're going to try and find ourselves a little uh, a little destination where we can hide a little bit. Um, and we'll see what happens from there. So I'm actually going to go far left because I think we'll be able to get through the tank's armor from the left. And uh, there's also a hill defending me there as well. So let's go all the way over there. It's pretty much going to be me in this tank versus six. <laughs> I don't know. They might be panthers. They might be king tigers. They could be anything. But, um... Yeah, this is ridiculous. We'll see what happens. They are panthers. Apparently, one of my uh, motorbike tonks has just taken one out from miles away. I don't, I don't know how that's happened, but it has. All right, I'm waiting for a panther to come up over this hill. I killed it. Yes, I actually killed it. Excellent. All right, my tank isn't strong enough to actually go up hills uh, if we accidentally put it in reverse, so we need to watch out for that. But anyway, let's get ourselves a side angle on this one. I didn't quite hit. Okay, we need to... Ooh, hoo, hoo. They just tried to shoot me back, but I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Move this way. I need to aim higher. I think that one might be dead. That one might already be dead. I'm not sure. Oh, they just tried to hit me again, and I'm luckily moving just in time. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to hide behind this. Oh, there's, there's one on the left, too. Ugh. <laughs> I'm hiding behind a, behind a panther in order to... Oh, they've blown it up. Imagine being that desperate to kill me that they're going to try and take out their enemy. Their, their, their friendlies, I mean. Is that... Is that... Alive? That one was alive. Okay, we got it. It's three versus three now. <laughs> oh, this is insane. I just died. I, I... It just... They shot through the enemy and killed me. Oh, now they're getting all of us. Now they're getting... Look at it. It's littered with little tiny tanks. <laughs> uh, that guy's dead. Okay, that guy... Oh... Hang on. My... Uh, aiming that far, it did bounce and ricochet and hit it, but it's too far to hit these tanks. It's one versus three now. We got issues. Oh, never mind. I'm dead. Okay, right. So, turns out Tonk... Um, not that effective. However, we are going to go in again and try and win this time. Uh, I'm hoping that this time we maybe get, like, a few less enemies, or uh, one of the light tanks doesn't take out loads of my little tanks, because that was bad. That was really annoying. But anyway, let's get in there. Okay, this time there are only five little tanks versus 12 of us. Hopefully, if I get the, the right shot off at the beginning, uh, we will be able to take out a tank straight away, and then we'll move on from there. Oh, they're on the left. Oh, yikes. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, we got one. Excellent. I'm going to try and get another one before my tanks get anywhere near. There are another. There are more tanks on the right. Okay, let's take this guy up first. Oh, it, it missed? I missed. Oh, that's bad. Okay, they're taking out that guy, I think. That one's dead. All right, let's continue to focus on these guys over here. All right, if this guy comes over the hill, we will destroy it. I think that one's dead. This guy... All right, we got it. It did destroy one of my tanks first, unfortunately. That guy's dead. All right, seven, seven big enemy tanks versus 11 of us. We only lost one that time. All right, let's go, guys. <laughs> let's go. Okay, so uh, we're having a long-range fight here, uh, unfortunately. That is actually kind of a bad thing for us because I don't think our gun will go through their armor at this range. It might, but it might not. Um, but if it doesn't... We don't have enough ammunition in our storage in order to actually take on this fight, if that makes sense. Because I've only got five rounds left. Oh, Tog 2s. That's what we're up against. I don't think I've ever been up against a Tog 2 on this map. Oh, one's dead. Nice. Okay. So now it's 6 versus 10. Okay, there is one right here. Hopefully I can destroy... Oh, that one might be dead. That one is dead? That one's dead. Okay, excellent. There's four more over there. Five. Okay. Another one has been killed. This time, the, t the, the tiny tonk might work. It might win. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. As soon as I can see it, I'm going to shoot. As soon as I can see it nicely, though. I don't want to waste a round here. All right, here we go. Lift up, lift up, lift up. Three, two, one. It didn't go through. 
It didn't go through, and now there's a tank right there that I would have been able to destroy. It's just taking out one of my friendlies. Three, two, one, fire! No! I didn't have enough time. I didn't have enough time. Oh, that sucks. Another one has been murdered, though. All right, we got to get in there. Come on, guys. Get in there. Okay, we're going to continue in. We are taking hits. We are definitely... Oh, they're trying to shoot me. Okay. Oh! <laughs> We're gonna continue! Come on! Oh, they dis disabled me! No! No! And then what are these guys doing? We're having a little meeting over here. Why? This might not actually be a bad thing. If the enemy comes over this hill, like if they actually push me, all of these guns will then turn and shoot them. So let's wait for that, actually. I don't think they're falling for it. I do not think they are actually even moving at all, but we'll see. Let's have a little look over the top of this hill. All right, there's a tonk right there. Uh, no, a tog, I should say. I missed. Okay, we gotta, we gotta reverse back down. Oh, wait, is that one right there? I think some of them are falling for it. Okay, good. Yes, some of them are moving forwards. Let's try and take this guy out that's close to us. Here we go. All right, I got it. I got it. All right, reverse. <laughs> this is ridiculous. We're slowly doing it though. All right, there's another one gonna come over this hill. I can't aim my gun good enough. Three, two, one. All right, I got it as well. Okay, excellent. We're sort of ambushing them now. This is perfect. All right, so there are two of them remaining uh, up on that hill over there. Three, two, one, fire! I didn't aim high enough. I need to aim higher. Okay, it's it's rounds are ricocheting off the floor. It looks like it might end up coming this way. Uh, maybe. I don't know. All right, hang on. Oh, I got it! I killed it! Okay, but it killed me. And now we've got four more tanks remaining. Okay, we got this. Slowly but surely. What's that coming over the hill? Is it a... Oh, a motorbike tonk. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, fire! I missed. Okay, that one doesn't look like it wants to shoot at me at all. So maybe we took out its, its gunner at some point. That would be sick if we have. All right, here we go. I think this is... Oh, I've set it on fire. It went through the armor. Okay, we've got three seconds till I can shoot again. Two, one. Whoa! It didn't go through again. Oh, yikes. It might eventually die, though. Four, three, two, one. Fire! I'm going in. It might not even be that tank that... It's that one. Oh, that one? I don't know. Which one of these is alive? I have no idea which one of these... Tanks is alive. It might be the one hiding back there. Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> I was just shooting some dead tanks. Uh-oh. Okay, so it's my job to actually look out for which one of these uh, has its turret turning. And that's that's the one that it... Yeah, it's that one. Oh, it's... Oh, yikes. All right, I drove all the way up there just to get shot. All right. I need to do like a 10-point turn to get out of here. <laughs> I can't move. I can't move. I'm struggling. All right, forwards. Backwards. Forwards again. All right, there we go. We're doing it. Slowly but surely, we're doing it. Okay, so after sneaking up on it, uh, we might be able to shoot it in the side, depending on whether we see it first or not. It is literally just over this hill. Um, I better hit my shot. If I don't, I'm going to cry, because we're going to have to come up here again. All right, here we go. Keep going until we see it. Aim down. Three, two, one. Dead. All right, we did it, guys. We actually did it. All right, nice. So, I built a motorbike tank. In the next one, we might actually build a normal tank. We'll see. But anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like in it down below and maybe even consider subscribing. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.